Well, hello guys, it's your boy AR Legends, and today I am back with another what if. What if Naruto was betrayed? Before starting this part, I would like to ask you guys if you want me to do a redo of what if Naruto was the reincarnation of Goku Black. As in my last what if, I have seen that my voice was quite disturbed and there was a back noise. So I wanted to make a redo of that what if and you can also suggest me that if I can do that what if with what if Naruto was neglected. As I think that that story will work quite good. So you can comment that down below and tell me that what should I do about that what if and if you like me to continue or make the series. So, let's get into this part. As we guys already know that, in original timeline, Third Hokage made a law that no one will talk about the QB and Naruto is the Jinjuriki of the Nine Tails, as the one who will speak about it will be punished to death. But in this timeline, when Sakura's mother saw that Naruto was also in the same class as her daughter. She decided to told her daughter that Naruto has the nine tails. As she told her that Naruto was the uh, nine tails reincarnate and he is a monster and she should keep her distance from her, from him. As Sakura was shocked to hear this, first she was scared then her mother told her that she he cannot do anything as he do not have power just the soul wanted to comfort her daughter so she agreed to this wanted to keep her distance from naruto but a little bit of hatred was being grown inside sakura and we know the sakura being useless Spill the beans about Naruto being the Jinjuriki and Naruto has the nine tails. As she told some of her friends that Naruto is the reborn of the QB. As all of them started to be scared of Naruto. When Shikamaru heard that, being genius he was, he told the rookie nine the difference between a kunai and a scroll in which it is sealed and told them that there is no need to worry about it as Naruto is the one who is saving them by keeping, by keeping the QB in check. As the rookie nines agreed to this and they did not care if Naruto had the QB and decided to be friend of him. Sasuke being seeing that Naruto is given the hatred which was much greater in this timeline because the child and the next generation also knew that Naruto is the Jinjuriki. Became friend with Naruto as both of them were good friends, best friends as Naruto was the very first friend of Sasuke. And for Sasuke, Naruto was the same. After seeing this, Sakura got even more upset and her hatred grew even more that she told her friend that he is the QB but they do not care as she thought that they must have not believed him her and also saw that Sasuke is the best friend with the demon wanted to save her Sasuke kun from Naruto so she decided to make a deal with some shinobis as her, she and her friend group met some shinobis and random villagers who gave them an offer that if they can bring the demon on the outskirts of the village on a special area they will give them special treatment and told them and teach them some chusu so that they can become a good ninjas and they can get rid of the demon as, as, uh, as Sakura and some of her friends agreed to this as they told Naruto that they wanted to become friends with him and if he wanted to play with them he should come to the outskirts of the village. Naruto being the knuckle headed person he was agreed to this being very happy that now he has more friends went there but 
he was shocked to see that there was no person there but some random villagers and some shinobi naruto saw the malice in their eyes as they wanted to kill him started to run away from them but they saw him naruto was not fast enough and they caught up to naruto and decided to bind him to a tree and started to beat him up quite harshly naruto was being beaten by them very badly as the blood was leaking out of every part of naruto as he was all red his clothes were colored in all red and was full in red beaten by the villagers then naruto was able to cut off the robes wanted to somehow run from them but they saw him and decided to chase after them while running through the village other villagers also joined saying that it is their chance to finish finish off the fourth job decided to run after naruto to kill him when third akage saw this he was scared wanted to help naruto and decided to go there with his ambus then his ambu and some shinobi decided to help naruto to keep him away from these shinobi and villagers some shinobi attacked them and prevent them to reach to naruto so that they can save him village now has surrounded naruto and was beating him up and kicked him out of the village naruto though had no strength in his body but decided to run as fast as he can wanted to leave and save his life as a kid he was because now it's his age was 7 years running from the village third okage was sad at this seeing this all that his villagers had done something like this to a mere child decided to help naruto as he told his shinobi to bring naruto back knowing that naruto is the secret weapon of them and they cannot lose the nine tails the shinobi like kakashi and others went after naruto and they decided to found him everywhere but unknowing to them naruto had fell into a river and that river was flowing at the top speed they followed naruto for some time but they they saw that naruto just vanished and they saw here and there and scattered in different directions decided to found naruto at any cost but naruto was being flown to a different land and some of you might have known where he could go the only land i like other than the land of fire is land of lightning i think it is land of lightning in which the cloud village is located but lucky luckily from far naruto that is samurai had found naruto who was traveling around the land of lightning and found naruto and saw how badly he was bruised and so much wounds on the body of a little kid like him as he was on the shore of the river he caught naruto and bring him to his house and laid him down and then bandage him all over his body saying that how badly this kid was beaten as he was thinking who could have done this to a little kid like this but after one day a fresh naruto finally woke up and was hungry as samurai suspected this and he bring quite food there and naruto woke up and he decided first to eat ignoring everything what was happening starving for days as he was eating recklessly samurai saw this and thought that this kid must be hungry for quite a time that is why he is eating like this wanted to know what happened to the kid after eating naruto looked toward samurai and samurai asked as he was a bit scared of him as he remembered that villagers often beat him naruto said lightly are you going to hurt me as well being scared a little samurai was shocked to hear this as this kid was asking him that if he is going to beat him up 
Samura said, "No. Why would I do this to a kid like you? You have nothing. You have done nothing. So why would I beat you up?" Naruto said that his in his village, villagers beat him almost every day from his childhood. As as far as he remember, there is beating almost every day. This shocked Samurai as he asked that, "Which village are you from, kid?" Naruto said, "I am from Konoha." Wait, it is not Konoha. Naruto asked. The samurai nodded and told him that it is not Konoha, as as we are far away from the border of land of fire, as this is the land of lightning. As Naruto was shocked to hear this, then he remembered what happened to him back in Konoha, as. the tears were coming out of his eyes and dripping to the ground samurai was first shocked at this and then he asked naruto what is wrong kid then naruto explained his story that how the villagers beat him up tied him to a pole then beat him then he was able to rip off the he was able to escape from there but then they followed him and beat him up then he was out of the village and now he remembers only that and now he is here samurai was first shocked at this then he started to think for some time and he had a suspicion for naruto now he said naruto that was your name right naruto nodded and then samurai told him that he should lift his shirt off Naruto was uh, confused at this. Samurai said, "Don't worry, kid. I won't. I won't harm you." Naruto agreed at this. Then Naruto lifted his shirt a little. Samurai placed some chakra in his hand and placed it on his stomach, pouring some chakra. Then the seal appeared, confirming the suspicion of the samurai. As samurai thought for some time, and he thought that. The Konoha had only one tail beast that is the nine tails and the and if this kid has this seal it means that he is the Jinjuriki of the nine tails that must have explained his condition in the Konoha Samurai sighs and told Na- then he looked toward Naruto thinking that this kid is quite young to know this hard information then he remembered that what happened to him and he should know the reason otherwise he will not be able to grow co- uh, correctly and will have hatred for his village so he sighs and told naruto that naruto do you remember the incidents that happened 7 years ago in the konoha the nine tails attack naruto nodded and told him that his sensei ha- taught them about the nine tails incidents he nodded then samurai said well they told people that the fourth hokage had killed the uh, the qb but it is wrong as the qb is immortal and cannot be killed by anyone then the fourth hokage had only one choice but to seal away the nine tails in a new born that new born is you naruto this shocked and break naruto as he was now crying rapidly the tears were coming out of his face dripping to the ground as he was shocked that he was the nine tails as he said so i am the monster nine tails the samurai said no you have misunderstood me you are not the nine tails as he gave naruto the example of kunai and scroll and told him that he is just a scroll in which the nine tails is kept and he himself is not the nine tails but naruto was still sta- sad and crying over this samurai told him that he should now grow up and his time for being a kid is over it is time for him to work hard to become strong so that he can prove other people that they were wrong about him and he is strong enough to prove himself samurai told naruto that he should think like this that he has the most power in the whole world the most powerful chakra 
and if he can master it he will become the strongest ninja to ever exist this made naruto a bit happy then the samurai placed his hand on the shoulder of naruto and told him that he trusts him and he know that one day he will become a great shinobi this made naruto happy that this is the first time he is meeting this guy and he is giving him the love of a father and trusting in him this made naruto smile and very happy samurai told him that he is a great samurai and no quite ninjutsu as well he is traveling around the world and now he is in the land of a friend of his as the raikage is a good friend of him the samurai told him that he will train him for some time and when he will reach reach a certain age he will leave to the hidden cloud village where he can become a shinobi of the cloud if he agrees to this naruto nodded now has only one goal in his mind wanted to become the strongest so that he can prove himself to the villagers and all the world that he can become stronger and not, and he is not the nine tails the samurai saw the motivation in the boy's in the boy eyes and smiled a little knowing that this kid can become a good shinobi after all then samurai decided that naruto should rest for some time as it is not time for him to wake up the samurai told naruto that he should rest for some time as the fox is already healing his wounds and his he thinks that tomorrow he will be in full power naruto nodded at this and decided to sleep as samurai left the house to get something in next day naruto and the samurai were on the training ground as samurai told him that even though he is a samurai he know quite ninjutsu first of all let's train on chakra control but samurai quickly realized that he has the nine tails and being uzumaki he has humongous amount of chakra so it is hard for naruto to control it so he decided to train naruto on chakra control for some time as some time passes naruto master a specific jutsu that is the shadow clone jutsu as the samurai was old and knows about the secret of shadow clones as he train in that as well so naruto mastered it and naruto clone went with the clone of samurai to train in chakra control as naruto himself was being trained by samurai in sword now the four years have passed and now naruto is 11 years old in the meantime konoha was searching for naruto everywhere not wanting to lose the nine tails their secret weapon otherwise they will be doomed as konoha was searching for naruto everywhere as the shinobi started to think that naruto must have died and nine, nine tails have been dispersed into the nature and they will find the nine tails afterwards when he will recover himself thinking that naruto is dead but the third okage did not give up as well as kakashi decided to found naruto every time sending different shinobis but they were they were not able to find naruto anywhere in the meantime naruto was trained by the samurai in different things samurai taught him the basic academy jutsu but instead of clone it was the shadow clone also taught him the air palm jutsu the air bullet jutsu great breakthrough as the main infinity of naruto was wind and his second infinity was lightning the which impressed the samurai that naruto had two affinities and decided to train naruto on his wind affinity and lightning affinity for some because naruto used his chakra to make his blade even sharper 
and his lightning even faster to make the blade as he he infuses his chakra with the blade to make it much more powerful now the four years have passed and now naruto's skills are he knows the basic jutsus and the shadow clone and some eight techniques and his sword level is a high jonin level knowing the many tricks which outclasses many people not knowing what it is because it was being taught to him by a legendary samurai who has left his clan to wander around the world as naruto sword skills were far above that anyone can know only to be outclassed by the samurai himself as no one can win against him in this sword then the samurai decided to take naruto finally to the cloud village as they entered the cloud village and directly went to the raikage raikage and the samurai met once again as raikage was happy to see his old friend as the raikage for some time was taught by the samurai as well not in sword but other things as he was also good in tai chi jutsu naruto tai chi jutsu was a you can say high chunin level not much great but very good for his age then the samurai explained the whole story to the raikage making raikage angrier that they can do something to the to a kid like this samurai told the raikage the complete story of naruto and how he was almost exiled from his village and he has when he told him that he has the nine tails we shocked raikage to no extent as he thought that how can they do this to their own jinjuriki don't they know that he is the most powerful the weapon of their village and now they have lost it they are vulnerable and not powerful enough to stand up to any nation as they are now weak raikage thought for some time and then he says that there are only two possibilities that the kage of their village must be finding him or they must have thought that naruto is dead and the chakra of the nine tails will be restored after some time and they will be able to capture nine tails once again rakage smiled at this knowing that now he can attack the village but then he looked toward naruto seeing the innocence in the boy's eyes and after seeing this he remembered the fourth hokage and how good of a rival he was and then he dropped the idea of using naruto as a weapon so that he can attack the village now he do not want to attack it and left the decision to naruto what he wants to do samurai told him that he has to wander around the world as he has spent the four years here now it is time for him to left naruto though was a bit sad at this agreed that now it is time for him to join the academy and make some friends even though his skills are far above of that of a genin level but he has he can still learn some things and naruto nodded at this rakage introduces naruto to his brother b telling him that he is also a jinjuriki when naruto met b he sensed the immense chakra in him as well okay guys here i will left this part hope you like it